Yeah, look at all these things here. Hey, good morning to you. Well, we're sitting here on another day right here at Herbal Gardens Homestead. So thank you for coming along. <coughs> we're going to take a stroll out in the garden and see what's going on. I think we should have some tomatoes and see if those things are starting to grow a little bigger. Let's go take a look. While I'm walking right over there to the garden, we'll be right back after this. like we do have some growth going on here and um man they're growing faster than i thought let's take a look at this jeez if you remember correctly these things were down below the down below the rim look at this now i am so happy right now they are moving look at that one Ooh-wee, that is what I'm talking about. Yeah, these are the Super Sweet 100s. This is a Super Sweet 100. Um, this one, <clears throat> I think it needs a little fertilizer. I don't know what's going on with that. Look at that. Um, uh, I don't know. Something's bothering me about the way that looks. I mean... <laughs> This one and this one was planted at the same time, you see? But I think this one, uh, I put some fertilizer in it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that to this one. Maybe get some rabbit pellets and put it in there and see what happens. And then, um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This one might be a Jubilee. I think this one's a Jubilee. Because these are Jubilees right here. I think I did the Sweet 100s, then Sweet 100, Jubilee, Jubilee, back to Sweet 100s. Okay, yeah, these are Jubilees. These are the ones that turned yellow. And, um, yeah, this is a Sweet 100. These are Sweet 100s. Sweet 100s. I grow tons of Sweet 100s just to let you know because that's what I sell the most. And uh, I love to eat them. So I grow a lot of them because I want some too. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I try to grow as many uh, Sweet 100s as I can because, you know, a lot of people like the cherry tomatoes in their salads. I sure do. And... That way I can have some for our house and then, you know, uh, I have some other people that like to get them every year. So I'm going to go ahead and grow a lot this year. Here's some more sweet 100s all the way down the line until we get here. These are my peppers, 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 pepper and pepper. This one, I don't know what happened, but it um, it grew uh, slow. I don't know why. Th uh, these right here is the same age as this one right here. These are the same as that one. Um, but for some reason, you know, before I took them out of their little styrofoam cups, um, I noticed that these were bigger. So I gave this one his own little pot to see what would happen. And uh, he's growing slow. And then I have my nice one right here. Oh, um, this one right here I'm about to show you is... Uh, a Fresno chili. I like this one. Look at this one. That one's my Fresno chili. Ooh, yeah. Can't wait to chew on some of that when it starts to grow. Let's do this. Why does it keep growing in there? 
but I can't wait to start getting that. Hey, let's go take a look at the uh, the grapevine. It's probably got some grapes on there by now. Oh man, my yarrow is looking good too. We'll take a look at that after this. Look at these. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at them coming out. Anyway, look at that. All right. They are looking good. Man, this is gonna, you know what? This thing's getting to the point. Uh, I think I'm gonna go buy me a cat, uh, cattle panel. You know what I mean? And maybe put behind it and then it can grow it can grow alongside it. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting. I gotta add dirt to this. Jeez, a piece, I've been so busy. But isn't that awesome? I am so happy right now. Oh, there's some more over there. Look at those little ones right there. See them? Little grapes right there. And there's more over here. There's more over here. Oh man, you're gonna be a producer this year. Look at that. I can't wait. Anyway, um, let's go take a look at the yarrow. I was going to show you that. It's looking really good. There we go. Look at the yarrow. It is growing. Oh, yeah. And it's doing so good in this pool. I've been doing, you know, planting stuff in pools for, geez, Pete's probably 15 years. And I'll, I don't, I don't mind doing this at all because I'm always getting things, you know, growing in them. And I've had so many people say, oh, you know, they won't, they won't grow in pools because they won't, they can't get anything to grow. <clears throat> you put the right type of fertilizer and stuff in there that's awesome and i was going to take those out i took some of those out last year but look what came back some strawberries look at this there's strawberries coming back this year in here and i thought i took all the plants out because i was going to let this off uh you know fill up with yarrow man let's pull some of this stuff out when you pull things out Try your best to get down and pull out the root. See? You want to try to pull out the root? Oh, look at that. That's a nice, nice lion's tooth. Woo. I'll save that. You know, but, you know, try, try, to, try to get out the, uh, um, the whole thing down to the root. But that's the yarrow. Thought I would want to show you that. And it's doing good. Well, <clears throat> I got some more stuff I could roll around, but I got some things to do. So I thought I would just show you a little bit of what's going on in the garden, and then we'll come back another time and I'll show you some more. Well, thank you for joining us right here at Rubble Gardens Homestead. And remember, Love your land, and it'll love you back. Take care. See you next time.